Step into a machine and press a button. In an instant, you're gone. Tomorrow, yesterday, centuries ahead or behind, you're there. The world you left behind continues on its path, but you've stepped off the tracks. What if time travel was not just science fiction, but a reality? What would you risk? Who would you become? This isn't just about seeing dinosaurs or flying cars. Every second you shift, the rules of reality itself could change. Today, we're going to explore the thrilling and terrifying possibilities of traveling through time. Let's start with the science. Most of us think of time as a constant, like a river flowing at a steady pace. Over a century ago, Einstein flipped our understanding of time on its head, but here's where it gets wild. Some conspiracy theorists think Einstein didn't just dream up time travel. They believe he actually helped build a machine for it. They call it the Bell a secret Nazi experiment during World War II that supposedly messed with gravity, time, and space. This device was codenamed Die Glock, which means the bell in German. Legend has it that it vanished in 1945, taking some key scientists with it. Some even claim the device reappeared decades later, near a forest in Poland. Close to where the original Nazi facility stood, they believe it crossed timelines. Hidden in plain sight. There's no solid proof, right? No photos, no documents, just whispers and wild conspiracy forums. Historians pretty much call the bell a myth, not a real machine. Sure, there's no hard evidence backing any of this up, but it's wild how far people will go with their imaginations when time travel seems almost possible. Einstein taught us that time isn't absolute, it's all about perspective. Time actually flows differently depending on your speed and the strength of gravity around you. This is called time dilation, and it's not just a theory it's been proven. Astronauts on the International Space Station age just a tiny fraction of a second slower than us on Earth because they ray moving incredibly fast. It's a real, measurable effect. So, if time can be bent and stretched, can we break it? Can we travel through it? Theoretically, yes. Scientists have come up with some mind-bending models that could, in principle, allow for it. One of the most famous is the wormhole, or what scientists call an Einstein-Rosen bridge. Imagine folding a piece of paper in half and punching a hole through both layers. A wormhole would be like a tunnel connecting to different points in spacetime. You could enter one end and emerge in a completely different time and place. Another concept is called a closed timelike curve. This is a path through spacetime that loops back on itself, allowing an object to return to its own past. These aren't just wild guesses, they are legitimate solutions to Einstein's equations. And ideas are getting even stranger. A recent study exploring the bizarre rules of quantum mechanics suggested that paradox-free time travel might actually be possible. The universe might have a built-in self-correction mechanism. So if you went back to stop an event, the universe would conspire in strange ways to ensure it still happened, just maybe in a different way. It's a fascinating idea that the universe itself might protect its own timeline from meddling travelers. So, let's say we've built the machine. What happens when you actually press the button? Well, it depends on which direction you go. Let's talk about jumping forward first. This is the easier kind of time travel, according to physics. If you could travel in a spaceship at nearly the speed of light, Time for you would slow down dramatically compared to everyone on Earth. You could take a five-year trip, but when you return, 50 or even 500 years might have passed on Earth. You would have effectively leaped into the future. But think about the personal cost. Everyone you knew your friends, your family would be gone. The world you left would be a distant memory, a chapter in a history book. You'd be a stranger in a strange land, a living fossil. Now for the really juicy stuff, jumping backward. This is where things get truly complicated and dangerous. The most famous problem is the grandfather paradox. What if you go back in time and prevent your grandparents from ever meeting? If they never meet, you're never born. But if you were never born, how could you have gone back in time to stop them in the first place? It's a brain-breaking loop that seems to violate the basic laws of cause and effect. Some physicists, like the legendary Stephen Hawking, 
We're so troubled by these paradoxes that he proposed something called the chronology protection conjecture. He suggested that the laws of physics themselves might conspire to prevent backward time travel from ever being possible. Maybe by making wormholes collapse the second you try to use them, just to keep the timeline safe. But let's ignore the paradoxes for a moment and consider the personal and societal impacts. If you travel to the past, your very identity is at stake. What if you make a small change that ripples forward and erases your own existence? Or what if you travel to the future and meet an older version of yourself? What would that do to your sense of self, your free will? Knowing your future could become a prison, every choice predetermined, and it's not just about you. A single time traveler could rewrite all of human history. Think about it. Go back and give ancient Rome the formula for gunpowder. Go back and prevent a major war. These might sound like good ideas, but the unintended consequences could be catastrophic. Our entire culture, our technology, our relationships, the very fabric of society is built on the history that happened. Changing one thread could unravel the entire tapestry in ways we could never predict. This raises enormous ethical dilemmas. Do you have the right to change the past? Who gets to decide which historical events to fix? Should you save one person, knowing it could inadvertently lead to the deaths of millions later on? The power to change time is the power to play God, and that's a burden no single person should ever have to bear. Even if we solve all the theoretical problems, the practical limitations are staggering. The energy required to create and sustain a wormhole or two warp spacetime would be astronomical. We're talking about the energy output of an entire star, or perhaps even exotic matter with negative mass, something we don't even know exists. It's far, far beyond anything our current technology can even dream of. We'd need a civilization-level breakthrough in physics and engineering just to get started. And let's say you manage it. You jump a thousand years into the future. What would you find? The world you arrive in might be completely unrecognizable. The language, the culture, the technology, even the biology of humans might have changed. You might land in the middle of an ocean where a city used to be, or in a toxic, inbreathable atmosphere. Go to far back, and you face similar problems. The air might have a different composition, and diseases your immune system has never seen could kill you in hours. You'd be completely alone, with no way to communicate, no way to survive, and perhaps no way to ever get back. The ultimate adventure could very quickly become the ultimate nightmare. Time travel might feel like the ultimate freedom, the power to go anywhere, anywhere. But that freedom comes with a terrifying cost, with consequences we can't possibly foresee, and with a deep and settling uncertainty. It forces us to ask profound questions about who we are and our place in the universe. So, if you had the machine, the button ready to be pressed, would you dare? Would you choose to go back in time, or would you jump into the future? The past might surprise you, and the future could be a place you'd rather not know about. I'm really curious about your thoughts, so drop your opinions in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this journey through spacetime, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more explorations into the unknown. See you in the next one.